Yep. All right, the information I'm about to provide is uh, preliminary and subject to change. This has been an extremely difficult uh, weekend for our community and our police department. I want to acknowledge that right up front, acknowledge all those officers and family members and victims who are uh, experiencing the trauma that uh, many, many experience in our communi uh, community this weekend. Today, shortly before 7.30 p.m., IMPD Northwest District officers were dispatched to the area of 33rd and Georgetown Road on the report of a person firing shots. When officers arrived, they located a Hispanic male. Uh, he was ordered to stop but fled in a vehicle and a vehicle pursuit ensued. That pursuit ended in the 3200 block of Winton Avenue a short time after it began. The suspect exited his car and officers observed that the suspect armed with a firearm. Video shows the suspect standing in front of the house holding the gun to his own head. Officers slowed things down, began communicating with the individual and asked for the assistance of our SWAT team and crisis negotiators. On-duty SWAT officers arrived and began setting up a perimeter to contain the suspect in the area. A sergeant who was involved in the original pursuit began communicating or had been communicating with the, with the suspect, trying to de-escalate the situation, build rapport, and get the person to put down the gun. After about an hour of back and forth conversations between the sergeant and the suspect, the suspect left the porch area walking well, would, have, would have been northbound. At that point, SWAT officers deployed less lethal launchers and almost simultaneously this, there, were, there were shots fired by the suspect and then SWAT officers returned fire hitting that suspect. SWAT medics immediately and SWAT officers went to the suspect and began administering first aid. The suspect was transported to Eskenazi Hospital where he later died. No officers or uninvolved citizens were injured during this incident. Detectives did locate a firearm. Officers were equipped with body-worn cameras which were activated during this incident. Also during this incident, there was a drone operating and uh, recording video at the, of the time of the incident. And there are multiple cameras that the, our officers and detectives are currently canvassing the area and will be in, into the, the morning hours to identify additional video of this incident. Marion County Forensic Services Agency is here processing for evidence. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office had a representative here on scene. The Marion County Coroner's Office will conduct an autopsy, make notifications, and provide a, a manner of death. The IMPD Critical Incident Response Team is investigating the criminal aspects of this uh, incident. The IMPD Internal Affairs Unit will conduct an administrative administrative investigation which is parallel to the criminal investigation. After the conclusion of all criminal proceedings, the incident will go before the, the Civilian Majority Use of Force Board who will make a recommendation uh, to me whether or not the uh, training and policy were followed as a result of this incident. Our Victim Assistance Unit is also on scene talking to family members and our post team is here to provide support for our officers. The status incident obviously taking place on Easter is uh, you know is unfortunate another family is left mourning officers are left dealing with having to use deadly force when no officer leaves their house want to do that this north west side neighborhood is dealing with the trauma of having this had occurred where they live where their children play i'm thankful no one of our officers are injured this evening I'm also, also grateful for the work of our police department throughout this weekend. I worked overnight on Friday night and heard our officers uh, going after, after multiple spinners and dealing with person shot and a homicide um, and all doing it in the way that our community expects them to do it. Uh, that's what they expect of their officers is to go out and to prevent and hold accountable those individuals who commit violent crime in our community. Uh, 
So, uh, you know, we have a long way to go as community. The only way we're going to get get to the point where we don't see this violence on, on a, what it seems like an every night basis is if we work together to find solutions that steer people away from conflict, especially conflict that ends up with a, the use of a gun and then taking up a life, uh, which is unnecessary. So that'll take some questions. Did the individual direct any of those shots towards himself or toward the officers? It didn't appear that he was in the video that I saw uh, that he was directing the shots at himself. How many shots were fired from both sides? Though it's still part of the investigation, we'll know once uh, all the forensic evidence is collected. Why did he pick this address? Was this a random address or his home address? We'll know more about that after uh, detectives have talked to everyone involved and they, they look at uh, everything related to this individual and talk to family members. Any idea how many officers discharged their weapons? Three officers tonight. Thank you all. We appreciate it. All right, you just heard from...